and happy Tutorial Tuesday! Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I do my everyday contour, blush, and highlight. Um, I have had a couple requests for this, so I thought I would go ahead and show you guys what I just do on an everyday basis. Um, if you can't tell, I have a cold. Yeah! So I'm going to try and bear through this with my man voice and my sniffles and all of that. So let's get excited for that one. Um, but anyway, guys, let's go ahead and just jump on into this tutorial. I hope you guys all enjoy it. So what you're going to want to do is suck in your cheeks and then put bronzer in the line that is created when you do that. So where I would put it would be right here. You see how it creates a really little line. Now I have really chubby chipmunk cheeks, so I don't have the natural um, cheekbone definition that a lot of people do have. So by applying bronzer where that line naturally goes in, it gives you a illusion of having more cheekbone than what you really do. I'm also going to be applying bronzer to the outsides of my nose and the bottom of my nose just to create a little smaller look for my nose. And then you put a little bit underneath the bit of your lip and it makes your bottom lip look fuller and then I just put a tiny bit along my jawline and a little bit down the sides of my neck just to create an illusion of a longer neckline so let's go ahead and get started in what I do for my everyday contour so the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and use is just a normal bronzer I use the Sephora bronzer in Los Cabos um, it's a matte bronzer and it's just like a medium shade so that is the color that I use. Um, I'm going to be applying the bronzer in my cheekbones with a flat top kabuki bronzer brush. Um, I really like this. It's by Crown Brush. It came in a set that I got off of Hot Look. They do still have that set on Hot Look every once in a while. So um, I highly recommend getting these brushes. They're really, really nice brushes. Actually, all of them that I'm going to be using today is from the set that I got off of Hot Look. So all I do is apply a very little amount onto the top of my bronzer brush and I kind of blow off the excess because I don't want to have a really harsh line because this is just for every day and I just apply it into that little section on my cheeks. You just want to go along that entire line and um, I like to really blend it in so I go over it quite a lot um, and then you just create the look of having cheekbones. You see how that kind of gave it a little bit of definition right there, um, where before I don't really I don't have anything, so it makes it look like I have higher cheekbones than what I really do. So let's continue. So this is the finished bronzer on my cheekbones. Um, you can tell it goes from my hairline to about mid-eye um, on both sides. And I do tend to do a little heavy on the uh, cheekbone um, contour just because I feel like I have really chubby cheeks and um, I overdo it just so I look like I have cheekbones. But I really like it. And let's go ahead and move on to what I do to my nose. I think I have a really, like, it's a small nose, but it's kind of fat and chubby. And I'm just not super fond of it. So what I do is I take this little buddy here. Um, it came in my kit as well. Um, and I just put bronzer on one side of the brush. And then I go up my nose and kind of around and a little bit underneath. Um, I blend it down after I get done putting it on just so it blends in and looks a little bit more natural and it just creates an illusion of having a slimmer bridge to my nose and then just a little bit like rounder um, tip. So that is what I do to my nose. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I go kind of light on um, the bronzer for my nose just because I'm not so concerned about this as I am about my cheekbones, but it's just a little something that I do just to create a little bit more of illusion of a smaller nose. And then I just kind of take the end that didn't have bronzer on it and blend it downward. Okay. 
and that is how I do my nose. And then I take um, the same brush and use um, just a tiny little bit to put underneath your lip, and it gives you the illusion of having a fuller lip. So you just line underneath here, just a little. And it makes your lip look like you have a fuller bottom lip. I then go ahead and take the flat top bronzer brush again and do just my jawline. Um, I'm real quick about my jawline. I don't really care too much. And I just go underneath on both sides. And then I go down the side of my neck on both sides. And it gives you the illusion of having a more slender neck um, because it creates a highlight right here because you put bronzer on both sides there. So let's go ahead and move on to blush. The brush that I'm going to be using to apply my blush today is also from the same crown brush set and it is a angled blush brush. Um, it's synthetic fibers, it's super soft and I just think it gives you a really good natural look. It blends it in really, really well. And then the blush that I'm going to be using is by Cargo and it is in the color Amalfi. This is by far my favorite blush that I have ever had. It is just a really gorgeous like bright pink kind of like a Barbie pink and I just really really like it especially with like blonde hair um, so all I do for this is I just put a tiny bit onto my brush and then I put it in the apples of my cheeks and blend outward so let's go ahead and do that and I kind of perk my cheeks up a little bit when I do this just I don't know why I guess it gives me um, more definition to the apple so I kind of see what I'm doing a little bit better but like I push my cheek up I don't I don't even know how to explain that and you just kind of blend upward um, I personally like having the rosy cheek go all the way up. Some people like it just on their apples of their cheek, and some people do like it going all the way. So it's kind of just personal preference, but I do like it going all the way up and just kind of creating an illusion along with the bronzer. The majority of the color is on the apple. Um, but I do still put a little bit going upward. And that is how I do my blush. The final step that I do every single day is apply a highlight to the top of my blush. So, um, the brush that I use is just a fan brush. Again, it is from the set that I got off of Hot Look by Crown Brush. And, um, this is an okay fan brush. I'm just kind of about it but it does its job and the highlighter that I am using is by Bare Minerals and it is the Bare Minerals Ready Luminizer in the Love Affair. Um, <laughs> I get the use out of this sucker. I've already hit pan. It's just a really pretty um, natural color. It has a little bit of a pink shimmer to it and I just think it is a really pretty color. Um, I don't like super harsh highlighters like the white highlighters um, I do use those sometimes on the arch of my eyebrow and things like that but as far as my cheeks go I don't really care for that so all I do is I apply it to one side of my fan brush and I just brush upward so and I just put it right there and just a little bit of highlight um, it helps because my blush actually has shimmer in it so it kind of already has a highlight built in but I like the added highlight to the top of my cheekbone. I then take the same brush and I go down the middle of my nose just with a little bit of like left over of the highlight and I go across the top of my eyebrows. I don't really know why I do that I just do. Um, it's just kind of in the movements I clean off the brush that I used for the contour for my nose and I take a little bit of highlight and put it in my cupid's bow on my lip. So that will give you the illusion of a fuller upper lip. So between the bronzer on the bottom and the highlight on the top, it makes your lips look a lot fuller. So you just put a little bit in the cupid's bow. And 
and that is all I do for my highlight. Okay, so that was the tutorial for today. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions or comments or anything, please leave a response down below. And until next time, guys, don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Also, check me out on all my social media sites. It's Katie Does Fashion, KT, the letters does fashion, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, everyone. Love you.